Okay, so now we are on to learning target 6.3. I can explain temperature and heat transfer in terms of the motion of the molecules. So if we look up at the top rectangle, I have two rectangles that are touching with a wall or a divider right here in the middle. So there's a big divider here. The molecules cannot go in between. This side is hot. This side is cold. Okay. What we know about the molecules is higher temperature means higher kinetic energy, meaning the molecules on the left side, on the hot side, are traveling much, much faster and with much more kinetic energy than the particles on the, the cold side. Okay, so you can see my arrows are much going to be much longer than the tiny little arrows that I'm going to be right, drawing for these guys because they are not traveling as fast. They are colder. So they are not traveling nearly as quick. Okay? Again, remember, kinetic molecular theory states that these molecules are moving randomly. But the hot molecules have more kinetic energy, which means they have more velocity than the cold molecules. Now let's consider removing the center divide. So I have my hot molecules on this side. And I have my cold on this side. And right after I remove these molecules, the, the center divide, if I were to take it away, these hot molecules and these cold molecules would be allowed to intermix with each other. Okay? And you can see that eventually one of these particles, these hot particles, might maybe bounce off the wall and come into contact with a cold particle. Well, just like in pool, when you're playing a pool on a pool table, if a ball comes on and hits the side and then all of a sudden hits another ball, some of the energy will be transferred. So there will be a transfer of energy when these collide. And if another one collides here, it's going to be a big, big collision, energy will be transferred. And if these collide, energy will be transferred. These might collide, energy being transferred every time. Okay, and every time energy is transferred, we call that heat. So if you remember, heat is energy transfer. Okay, that is what heat is. Heat is energy transfer. Down here, when we remove that divider, energy is being transferred, so things are heating up. So what is going to happen is the temperature, these particles are cooling off because they are losing energy, and these cold particles are warming up. So now, instead of having a whole bunch of hot particles on this side and cold particles on this side, we are now getting the hot side to start to cool down because they're losing energy and the warm or the cold side is starting to warm up because they are gaining energies and eventually the entire tub will reach the same temperature. The individual example says compare the individual motion of molecules in a sample of water at 273 degrees Kelvin compared to a sample at 300 degrees Kelvin. Then explain what would happen if the two samples were mixed together. So pause the video now and then try it and see if you get the same answer as I do. Okay, so I have my two cups here. They each have water in them. And one water is 273, and the other water is warmer at 300. What I know is that in the blue, mo the blue cup, or the colder cup, the molecules are moving... Actually, let me... Let me get rid of this, and let me get it in blue. We know molecules are moving slower. Compared to this side,
where the molecules are going to be moving faster. So again, the molecules are these little dots in here. They're going to have more velocity or more kinetic energy in the red cup or the warmer cup than they do, again, in the bluer cup. Okay. If I were to then mix them together into one cup, assuming they were the same temperature, I would get a mixture of them. And as they started to bang into each other, going all different directions, and once you get some to bang into each other, you will get energy transfer. from hot particles to cold. That is called heating 